Hi, my name is Joe Small with another video from the Journal of Accessible Sciences. Our investigations often take us in unexpected directions as we discover some interesting detail. Some may call this undisciplined. We call it curiosity-driven science. Today we'll be exploring another interesting wildflower. As always, our presentation progresses in parallel with our experience. That's our way of including you in some of the specifics of our investigation while we show you some nice images. Let's get started. Our subject for today is ragweed. I believe it to be Ambrosia artemisiaefolia. Our featured plant is a ground covering with flowering spikes. The flowering spikes are the most conspicuous identifier, but the ragweed name is derived from the characteristic leaves. This individual stem is past its prime. Cobwebs and dandelion parachutes litter its spent male flowers. The stem in the background is in the early stages of its full blossoming. Here is another flowering spike in the first day of its full maturity. At its tip are aggregations of male flowers. A few individual male flowers are opening. The female flowers are clustered at the leaf axle. Let's take a somewhat closer look at this species' identifying characteristics. The leaves are structurally similar to feathers. Each individual element is lance-like in shape. Ragweed is classified as a weed by many, and a great deal of money has gone toward controlling it. Male and female flowers on the same plant provide genetic researchers with clues to help engineer biologic control to this invasive plant. The female flower clusters appear chaotic and are sprinkled with an overabundance of pollen. Male flowers provide the pollen, a pollen that causes many people to have an extreme allergic reaction. There's a great deal more to know about this species of ragweed. Links to additional information are provided in the description section below. Thanks for watching.